welcome to the workshop. Alright, well I'm going to make a start on this wooden coffin shaped plane. And the first thing I'm going to do is give it a little clean with some methylated spirits. I have found on here since the introduction video there is a, a maker's name and that is Griffiths of Norwich and I expect someone will tell me pretty soon when they've seen this video that that's actually a very expensive plane and I shouldn't have done anything to it I've ruined the value well shucks I don't mind as far as I'm concerned it's of no value unless it actually works and at the moment it doesn't work so we'll get it into working shape and uh, it can pay me back in the workshop I'm not a collector of planes and I certainly don't know about wooden planes you could show me a, a very expensive wooden plane and I, I wouldn't have a clue I know how they work how they should work and how well they can work but I wouldn't know one that was worth a lot of money and one that wasn't so to me all I'm interested in at the moment is getting this reasonably clean so I can go about the the process of restoring it to working condition so the methylated spirit is not particularly strong cleaner but it will get a fair bit of the grime off and I won't be constantly getting filthy hands whilst I'm working with it. I can feel it's a little bit sticky so I imagine somebody has shellacked it at some point or other. Okay that will do. Now I've had a bit more of an inspection with this plane and I'm quite pleased the ramp is pretty smooth and appears to be pretty flat in, in the same plane as well so I'm not going to do much to that I have a Japanese file here which actually has more of a planing action to it it can take very light planing strokes uh, and it's flat as well so I'm going to just clean the ramp very slightly with that I'm also going to clean up down at the bottom of the mouth here where these shavings initially hit now that's quite rough I don't know whether it was originally made rough or whether somebody's attacked it with a chisel at some point or other it, it's not great so I'm going to smooth that off just so that there's less friction for any of the shavings trying to come out there. The abutments where the wedge presses up against they also feel quite smooth so I'll just go give those a light touch as well. Turning our attention to the bottom you may remember that it had a, a steel toe to it and I thought it might be retrofitted and I'm, I'm sure it is now because in no position is this toe a good match to the body there's overhang and different amounts as well there's a lot of overhang at this end by the mouth and very little at this end and I don't think it's just a case of the the plane shrinking a little bit I think it's a either a retrofit toe or it's a replacement toe and it isn't a good fit so I shall also be tackling that once that's done I've checked the the sole for flatness and at the moment the head of the iron is higher than anything else and there's quite a rock on there so again in my opinion it's the it's the wrong toe on there and it hasn't been fitted very well so I'm going to tackle the fit of the toe by flattening off this area 
and reducing it slightly more on the, the mouth end where it should bring the toe in parallel with the, the rear of the plane. Um, I'll also make sure that the toe is very slightly lower than the rest of the sole of the plane and then when we go to flatten the sole it will be the wood that we're first of all removing just a slight amount to bring it down to the level of the toe I think that'll be a lot easier so for now I'll get to work cleaning the bed work my file for the full length of the bed I'm just doing very light strokes here so really just cleaning up at the moment but it's feeling a lot better and I'm quite happy with that now I want to test it for flatness and the, the easiest way I can do it is use a, a stock from a large engineering square which I know is flat place that on the bed and there shouldn't be any rock it should be a tight fit all the way around and that's pretty good And that feels pretty good and I can hold it up to a light source as well and check looking down the edges to make sure there's good contact and I'm quite pleased with that another area I need to tackle with the file is the base here where we've got to reduce the height a little bit so that our toe comes into line with our sole and there is a lot of gunk on here so if we get rid of that first then we'll know exactly how much more we've got to remove already that's quite a bit better but there is still some rock there and now that I'm down to some quite solid wood we may need to think of perhaps using a shoulder plane just to remove a few shavings to speed the process along a bit and that's lovely the toe is now in a plane as low as the heel of the sole and slightly lower than the rest of the back of the sole so when we go to flatten we'll be able to just slightly abrade material from the, the mouth back to about here and we just have a, a lovely flat sole so I'm very happy with that